Hi, this is Sandra. I'm showing the end results of these cake donuts. Oh, these cake donuts are so cinnamon with sugar. And we have a glaze on one of them. Look at the little light glaze on them. These cake donuts are so delicious and so cakey. You know what you mean by cakey. Let's cut one open and see. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Cakey donut. Look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that cake donut. Whoa. <laughs> that is what you call a cake donut, y'all. This is recipe. Get this recipe on soulfoodqueen.net. Oh, my goodness. Look at that cake donut. Oh. Hey, let's open that. See the cinnamon, the cinnamon one right here. Look at the cinnamon with the cinnamon sugar on top of it. Oh, these are some homemade cake donuts. You can make them blueberry. You can make them in strawberry. You can make them in banana. You can make them in anything you want because there are your donuts. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And look, try these homemade ooh, cake donuts. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is my version of cake donuts. I saw my friend Ellen, Home Delights, made some uh, donuts last week and they were so fantastic. And I've been wanting some homemade donuts ever since she did that. Oh, that video. Ellen, you did a wonderful job. A great job on those donuts. But this donut is going to be fried. Now, yours was baked, which you save a lot of calories. But every once in a while, <laughs> you would love to eat a fried donut. Because I do. Okay, what I'm going to do is start with two eggs. Two egg yolks. Blend it together. Sugar, a little time, like that, and I'm gonna put two, I mean, four tablespoons of butter. Because I got that, that's gonna be really good with that. Blend all this together, make these cake donuts, and then what I'm gonna do now. Add a little flour, and what is in the flour is two and a half cups of flour. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sift this flour. I'm going to get an old sifter out here, and let's see. Sift this flour just a little bit, if I can find a sifter. Okay, this is uh, two and a half cups of flour with a tablespoon, of, with a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two, let's see, two teaspoons of baking soda. So I'm going to put a little at a time like that. Because the recipe called for K flour, but I never do get no K flour. So we're going to put this together like this over here and make it a mess, which I always do. And we're going to blend this a little at a time. A little at a time. I'm going to add a half a cup of milk a little at a time. Half a cup of milk. Like this. Okay, put this in there again. Like that. And you know this is ridiculous how I'm doing this, but hey, this is the way you do it. Okay, do it like that. That's a half a teaspoon, well, a teaspoon of nutmeg and uh, a half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder. Let's do this in there. Let's put that in there like that. Put all this stuff together. That's 
And then we're going to do next is add Out the way. A little bit more milk in there. What we're gonna do now is add three, four cups of sour cream. The sour cream is not in your cake donuts. There are not cake donuts without the sour cream. So put the sour cream in there. So we get this up a little higher. Get the sour cream in there. Yes, indeed. This is getting kind of thick here. Okay. This, what I'm going to do now is add some vanilla. I'm going to add just a little vanilla in this dish. Open up. Because vanilla plays a great part and role to me in something <laughs> something like this <laughs> okay what we're gonna do now is get all this cooperated now this will have to sit in the refrigerator for an hour to get all this together all this together we gotta get all in the refrigerator so we can cut these donuts up and it's all back together. It's all like this. I'm trying to get that bell off of there. And there you go with that. Move this to the side. Here we go. Get this together like this, and this have to sit in the refrigerator for about at least an hour. And we're gonna come back and show you how to fry them. This is Sandra. I wanna say happy eating, and I made a mess. I wanna say happy eating, and we're gonna have all this ready for you in an hour, and we're gonna have those donuts ready. This is Sandra. Happy eating. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm back again with the cake donuts. So what we're gonna do? The uh, <clears throat> the batter is ready. So what we're gonna do is smooth it out like this. We're gonna form it out. We're gonna roll it out. Just in my hands, it's kind of my hands is kind of sticky. Now we're going to roll it out, just like this. I'm going to roll it out about one-eighth, not so big. Put some more flour on this. Okay. What I'm going to do is do it like this. That's about one-eighth. One-eighth. And then we're going to use this for a little donut hole. Don't have a donut hole maker. Put that over there. And we're gonna test this one here and see what it does. When it comes back up, we know that it's ready. The donut hole like that. Section there, y'all. Donut hole gonna be ready for this. This is a cap from a a and do A and W root beer. Oh, that was so good. So I kept the cap and it came in handy to do these donuts. Because I don't have a donut deal. Okay, we're gonna, it's gonna be a sideways donut. Okay, it's coming up, but it's not hot enough. So we're gonna wash my hands. And we're going to come back over. We're going to fry light. We don't want them to fry too heavy. 
We don't want them fried too fast. Let's see. We're going to see what they're going to do like. Yeah, they're coming on pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is move <clears throat> some of this over here. Move some of this over here. Scoop them up. So you have to see them frying. I'll scoop it up like this, lay it right there. This one kind of crooked, but that's okay. I'm only going to do two men. I'm just going to show you how they're supposed to do. Oops. Now, scoop this one up. Got the little hole in there. Put this on to the side. Like that for a second. We're gonna do this like this so we can bring the the brown over here. Do another donut. We we'll probably get about let's see. I'll we'll get about three out of here. The the dough is so soft because they have a sour cream in there. So we'll do another one like that. Bring this back over and make another one. Making a mess, but you know what I always say. Messy cooks make the best cooks. I don't know right now. But we're getting it there. Okay. Now we're gonna this up. Oh, I made a mess with that. Okay, we're gonna this over here. We're going to get this all out the way for a second. Two. I hate to put that on top of there, but what we're going to do is move all this over for a second or two so you can see what's going on. Now, let's see what's going on. We'll cut this up a little bit. And we want to see how the donuts going to turn out to be. See like that. So what we're going to do, we made a mess, but I can clean it up. Let me see. So the donut holes are being pretty good. I made these so many times and all of a sudden, it's stacking. So we're going to cut this out. And there's a donut hole right there. Put a donut hole in this. I'm getting hot real quick. Now, so what I'm going to do is cut this on the side like this. Cut this slant ways. Cut that slant ways. And cut that slant ways. And we're going to place it and the oil and it lines up it's going to be ready and we're going to put these back together here because I don't want them kind of thick I don't want them kind of too thin this is more flour we're going to work with this some more flour we're going to work with this real good put some more flour down you see how that brought it up there you go. That's why I said I'm not going to do too many. <laughs> because we up here having a time with this one here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this again. And then put another hole in there. And lay this up this way. Let's see. Let's just down here. And we're going to put a little slit there. Slit there, slit here, and slit there. I'm going to put this in there. Okay, there you go. See, it's getting right now. Donut holes are ready. The donut holes, they are so ready. We're going to put them on. Take the towel. 
so I will go paper towel and these are about ready now we're gonna do two of those then we're gonna do we're gonna put these together and the rest of this stuff we're gonna make it don't worry I can always get out of bind see that I always get out of bind we're gonna put the hole uh, taste this. <laughs> I'm so good. Oh, I'm gonna go. Mmm. I'm gonna hold in this one. I'll drop that one. Just back together. Oh, donuts taste good. Turn this over. I'm quite ready for that one. I'm quite ready for that one either. So we make a mess, but hey, it's worth it. Watch it. Now my friend Ella didn't have this much trouble, <laughs> but <clears throat> we're learning. Okay, got a hole in this one. Like that. I'm not going to put no slips on that one. Now, what we're going to do is turn them over. Look at that. All that laughing at me. But look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to make some more. But not today. <laughs> and we're just going to get things done. Put this back in here. We're going to put that in the refrigerator. We'll cover top. And we can do that tomorrow with some... Some, um, <clears throat> ball. Okay, wash my hands. <clears throat> okay, wash my hands. Let me all stick it up. Oh, they taste so good, y'all. They taste so good. Ooh. That's what all this over there. And look at those. Look at that. That's where all this over there. Got the little donut holes over there. Eat another one. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna move all this over here. <clears throat> I'm just showing you how to do some. So you know how to do them. It's a mess. And I'm going to clean it up. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's about ready to go. Let's turn over. Not quite. Oh, that sour cream tastes so good in there. Oh, my goodness. Sour cream tastes excellent. So what we're going to do, get a plate. And I'm going to put the one that's done on these napkins here. And these are the ones I especially did the little crinkle. Oh, ain't that pretty? That is where they're supposed to look. Look at this. This is about ready to turn over. It's doing two right now. Okay, what we're going to do with these two is going to put some glaze on them. The glaze. Oh, these are so pretty. Dip them in a glaze. Like this. I like my glaze all over the donut. Okay, put the glaze like that. Look at that. Deuce, you know. It's best I made four because I will not eat them all, but four would be my limit. Look at that. It's so tender. No smoke glaze on it. Put it on there like that. Mm. Wow. They are so good. Those two glazed ones. And the other two. 
I'm gonna do palace. I'm gonna put some sir, I mean cinnamon and sugar on these two. Cinnamon sugar. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. And so we're gonna, gonna cook a little bit more. And these two are perfect. And now we're gonna put some on paper towel. Paper towel. And then we're gonna get a bag. And put some sugar in. Like that. I'm gonna take them out on the paper towel. How beautiful that is. And that's beautiful. Then it takes time to make a mess and make them right. Cut it off. So what we're gonna do is get them cooled off a little bit. And now like that. Oh wow, look at that. And then we're gonna put them like that. And this one like that. Look. Look at that. I like to shake them up in a bag, but 